authentic or just a recreation of the white man's idea of the Native American warrior. Those who did not wear war paint limited themselves to darkening their faces with charcoal to become less visible. In addition to their weapons and parachutes, these men carried radio transmitters to mark the areas where the gliders could drop most of the troops. It took three men to board a paratrooper who had only a 50% chance of surviving, and he knew it. That same night, Eisenhower wrote a letter in case the landings failed, which shows that the Allies were not entirely confident, my decision to attack at this time and place is based on the best information available. If any blame is to be placed on anyone, it belongs to me, me alone. But the Allies had been perfecting a well-drawn plan for weeks. During the night of the 5th, Allied bombs were to devastate the German coastal defenses. Naval artillery would open fire at dawn along 70 kilometers of coast. The British and Canadians would occupy the right flank of the invasion, they were assigned three beaches, Sword, Juno, and Gold, located between Westream and Aramanches. The Americans would occupy the left flank and land on the beaches of Omaha and Utah. The British had to take Khan as soon as possible, the city was an important communication hub through which the Germans could bring reinforcements. It was also the gateway to a plane that would allow the deployment of Allied armored divisions and the landing of planes on improvised airfields. The Americans had to advance toward Cherbourg, a city they planned to take in a week, so that hundreds of thousands of men could land with all the necessary equipment for the next phase of the offensive. On June 6, starting at 3.15 in the morning, Allied planes began bombing German positions in all sectors of the landings. As we wrap up, let's reflect on the human cost of Operation Overlord and its enduring impact on the war. The sacrifices made and the victories achieved all contribute to a chapter in history that will never be forgotten. The brave men who stormed the beaches of Normandy faced unimaginable horrors and countless challenges. Many of them paid the ultimate price, and their courage and resilience turned the tide of the war, leading to the eventual defeat of the Axis powers. Operation Overlord wasn't just a military campaign, it was a testament to human determination and the collective effort of the Allied nations. The meticulous planning, the coordination of land, sea and air forces, and the unwavering resolve of the soldiers, sailors and airmen involved showcase the extraordinary feats that can be accomplished when nations unite for a common cause. The impact of D-Day resonated far beyond the battlefield. It was a pivotal moment that galvanized the Allied forces, providing a significant morale boost and a clear path toward liberation. The success of the invasion accelerated the downfall of Nazi Germany, hastening the end of World War II in Europe. Today, we honor the memory of those who fought and fell in Operation Overlord. Their bravery and sacrifice are enshrined in history, serving as a powerful reminder of the cost of freedom and the resilience of the human spirit. The legacy of D-Day endures, not only in the annals of military history but in the collective consciousness of the world, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil and the enduring power of unity and courage. We invite you to share your opinion on how this hypothetical event could have affected the outcome of the war. Leave us your comments and subscribe for more historical analyzes. Thank you for following us to the end. If you are new to our channel, subscribe and follow our social networks in the description. Remember, a people who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it, 